Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Coming up, my top five wig mistakes that make you look older. wearing Mia by Tressalore in the color Mimosa HL. I purchased this with my own funds from Wig Studio One. Expand the description box below this video. I'll attach a link to this style where you can go out and take a look at pricing, colors, and other details. If you have any questions for us, be sure to reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. There's a telephone number you could get a call back or from any product page on the website. If you scroll down and hit the help button, you can be connected with a live chat. Aging is a fact of life. We have to embrace it and make the most of it. In a way, we're constantly reinventing ourselves through our lives so that we can live our very best life at this moment and look and feel our best. And we don't have to wear wigs in order to understand that we may need to make adjustments in our makeup, in our clothing choices, our hair color and style choices as we get older. And I want this video just to stimulate some thought and have you have an open mind about what it means to get older as a wig wearer and some of the mistakes that we can make uh, that make us look older and may, we may not feel our best and live our best life. So here's my top five wig mistakes that can actually make us look a little bit older. So the first wig mistake that we can make that actually may make us look a little bit older is wearing wigs that are either too dark or too light in color. Over time, as we age, everything changes. Our skin tone changes, um, our hair color. So even if you wear wigs, your eyebrows can become sparse, you can get gray. Um, you know, our pigment in our eyes, in our lips, everything changes. So sometimes we need to step back and reevaluate whether those colors that we're wearing are still working for us. It may highlight the fact that you're getting older instead of really making you look your very best for where you and your skin is at at this time. Ask your friends and your family for some really good, honest feedback. To get the most flattering look and to feel and look your best at your current age, you might need to change it up just a little bit. Don't forget some of the grays and silvers. There's a lot of gray and silver out there in the wig world right now that is highly dynamic and can flatter you. So there's more some, there's more beigey type blonde grays. You can get into the blue base, kind of dark salt and peppery. There is something for you out there. So before you say no to gray or silver, you might want to check out those colors as well because they can be very flattering to any age and skin tone. So the second wig mistake that can actually make you look a little bit older is to continue to wear a wig that has too much density. Um, we really love that density when we're younger, but naturally as you age, your hair just naturally thins. Not only do you have less hair, active hair follicles, but each one of the hair strands will thin in nature. Now that's all uh, very subjective according to genetics and things like that, but in general, that is what it happens. So in order to look your best at the very age that you are, that may mean to adjust to some lighter density styles. And you can still have volume and a sculpted look without having a large, heavy density. So you may need to look at some lighter density styles or some more layered styles to your wig wardrobe to make you look more youthful. Number three in my top five wig mistakes that can actually make you look a little older is by getting stuck in a rut where you have to have that long straight style. I think length makes a difference um, because as we age, we all know that we're subject to the sagging of the skin on the face. And that can be exacerbated and emphasized by a wig style that uh, has a long straight front. It can pull the face down even more and your eyes, your cheeks, your lips, your mouth, and everything. So ladies, as you get older, have an open mind about your wig style because a little bit of fringe and layers can make a huge difference in how you look and feel. So if you like a really long style without layers, just try 
getting something with a little bit of layers around the face. A little bit of texture and fringe around the face will work wonders for an aging and sagging skin. And if you're used to that straight across bang and long front, consider going with a little bit of longer fringe that will frame your face instead of the sharp dramatic angles on a style. Softening up around the face is going to be key in helping you look your best and most youthful no matter what age you are. And number four in my top five wig mistakes that can actually make you a little bit older is being reluctant to bring your style up to date. And we see this all the time in those makeover shows, right? Where somebody has been in sort of a time warp for many years and they're just kind of lost of how to make changes and what might look the best on them. So in order to look and feel your best and most youthful, according to your age, you might need to come out of that time warp and take a look at some more modern wig styles. Now, I'm not suggesting that you rush right in and get the most trendy look that's out on the market right now, not at all. Um, but just take a look at some of the more modern styles and you can see them by checking out all of the new releases that the manufacturers are coming out with. They do a lot of market research about what's hot and popular. Um, not necessarily trendy, but just sort of where the tide is going for particular styles that year and beyond. It seems like every decade kind of has a hairstyle that marks the decade. And don't forget that if you just change your hairstyle, you may need to also change your clothes a little bit. Go shopping, select some outfits that are hip and young, um, still in accordance with your personality and lifestyle, uh, but just a few pieces that make you feel good in your new, more modern hairstyle. So don't let those old fashioned hairstyles make you look older than you are. Try looking at some new and more modern hairstyles to make you look and feel your best at any age. And number five on my top five wig mistakes that make you look a little bit older is, and it has nothing to do with wigs really, it's smiling. Wigs at any age can give you new life. I'm a testament to that because I didn't start wearing wigs until I was 46 years old. But it didn't take me long to figure out that I could have the most beautiful, youthful looking wig out there. But if I didn't smile, if I didn't uh, act confidently, if I didn't engage, then it was going to make me look older. If I frowned a lot, if I had a scowl on my face, if I hid, if I hid myself away, people are naturally going to think I am older than I actually look. You could have a face full of wrinkles and it doesn't matter. As long as you're smiling and you've got a light behind your eyes and you act with confidence and you stay engaged in this world, you are going to look, you're naturally going to look more youthful. So the wigs can help, but you really have to take care of yourself, your mind, your body, and your soul. If you're a smoker, you might decide to stop smoking. If you eat too much junk food or sugar, you might decide to cut back on that. You might decide that um, that walk that you do every single day makes you feel amazing. That is all going to show up in your face. So the mistake is buying that wig and expecting it to change your life without taking care of yourself. If you're not smiling, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you don't have a positive attitude towards life or wigs or whatever it may be, that can actually make you look a little bit older. So be confident, smile, be positive and kind. Everybody have a great day. I hope this was helpful. See you soon again on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.